All right, everybody, we're joined now by head coach Charles Huff from Marshall. Uh, coach Huff, would you give us an opening statement on spring practice? Yeah, uh, well, appreciate um, being on. Uh, we are right at uh, practice number 11. Um, so we're moving along pretty good. Really impressed with how our um, team has really embraced the entire offseason and spring. Um, the things that you kind of go through in year one and year two are teaching them how to practice and how to prepare and those things you're starting to see more readily, even with, you know, an influx of freshmen and transfers that have come in. Um, really impressed with, with the competitive back and forth, you know, defensively. Uh, we've got a lot of guys who are returning, who've played a lot of football for us at a really high level. Um, offensively, we were younger last year, not necessarily by class, but just by playing experience. Um, and a lot of guys, a lot of those guys are back. I mean, right now, um, you're starting to see in practice the, the back and forth, you know, big play by the defense, big play by the offense. And it's not a lack of consistency. It's just guys are making plays. So really impressed with that. Obviously, we got a, a long way to go um, before we actually, you know, um, you know, start keeping score. Um, but we're making really good strides, really impressed with where we are. All right, let's go over to Luke for our first question. Coach, um, uh, in the era of college football where you're starting to see some, um, you know, some former players' sons come through uh, college football, whether that's, um, you know, guys you have on your roster or Frank Gore Jr. at Southern Miss, Martin Harrison Jr. at Ohio State, how do you encourage those kids to, to kind of pave their own path and, and not necessarily, um, you know, be bogged down by, by what their parents did, um, you know, as yeah, it's tough because you guys compare them to their dads every day. So you guys make it really tough on us coaches to try to get them to improve and, and, and manage what they can manage. But no, obviously it's, it's part of it, right? Most of those kids have grown up in a world where their whole life they've been the son of, you know, so they've grown up in, in a different, um, you know, scenario than a lot of, a lot of kids. Um, I think the biggest thing is, is managing expectations, you know, with them one-on-one -on -one. And, and also being being honest about, you know, hey, there's an expectation that you got to have for yourself. There's an expectation that you got to have in house, um, and you got you really got to block out the noise. Obviously, you know, we've got some um, legacy kids on our team that whose parents played a really significant role here. Um, and when the time comes, their kids will have their um, opportunities to pave their own way. Um, but the, the, teaching them to understand, hey, you got to be patient. You got to be ready. Um, and you got to understand that you're evaluating yourself. You're not compared to your dad's stats or your dad's production or, you know, obviously you have his bloodline and, and your mom's bloodline, but um, you, you got to go pave your own way. And, and a lot of those kids who, who have that kind of legacy or that shadow over them um, have kind of already built a tough skin because they've lived life like that, you know, where they've been the high school player of um, – and, and you just got, <clears throat> excuse me, you just got to keep talking to them about it, you know, keep talking to them, keep showing them where they're making progress, keep showing them, hey, this is where you are. Um, and I think ultimately, you know, they get a chance to to be their own um, player or their own student athlete or whatever it may be. Now let's go on over to Noah. Coach, last year, Henry Columbia was your starting quarterback, you know, at the beginning of the season, Cam took over at the end of the year, played well down the stretch. Um, you know, he's competing, it sounds like, with Cole Pennington a little bit this offseason. Is this Cam's job to lose? Do you expect him to be that week one starter uh, at this point? Yeah, I mean, if we had to play today, Cam would obviously be the starter. I mean, Cole is, is making progress, but but again, you know, it's not. You know, again, if his last name wasn't Pennington, I'm not sure everyone would be making it as a competition as it is. Um, yes, there is, you know, some competition and, and, and growth. I, I talked to the guys and I'm honest, right? If we had to play today, it would be Cam, right? Cam and Cam was in the same situation last year, you know, where he was, you know, getting better, but not really ready. There's a lot more to do than just kind of throwing the football. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, Cam and Cole and all the, the other guys kind of on our you know quarterback roster there are different, you know, so some of the things that we would do with each one of them are different. Um, some of the things, the benefits that you know, Cam gives you with the ability to, to, to move kind of cleans up some issues that you may have at other positions or whatever it may be. Some of the things that Cole and, and Cade and some of those other quarterbacks in the room give you, you know, clean up some issues. So I think the biggest thing for us is, is trying to find out. I tell the guys all the time, before you can be the starting quarterback, you got to be the number two quarterback. Because in order to be the number two quarterback, you got to understand patience. You got to understand preparation. You got to understand, you know, taking it one step at a time. You got to understand competing. Then you can compete for the, for the starting role. And I think that's where we are now. 
Um, I do think that th there are some guys making progress. Um, a big part of it, you know, is it's practice 11. So it's, it's still some some evaluating to do as far as our, our installs and things that we want to be able to put in. Um, I think I think a big part of it is going to be what they do this summer. You know, do they go back and watch all the film from the spring, say, hey, this is where I need to improve. Um, do they get faster? Do they get stronger? Um, and then are they taking the opportunity to grow this summer? You know, hey, are they out throwing with the receivers? Are they out, you know, calling, you know, the offense up and making them, you know, do some one on one routes or whatever it may be to show that being the quarterback of a team is bigger than just, you know, standing behind the center and clapping your hands. You know, you, you got to be that leader. So when you step in that huddle, you step on that field, you know, the unit respects the presence that you have and ultimately plays at a higher level. Yeah. Uh, quick follow-up, just the mm -hmm. offense. Obviously, you guys won't have Corey Gamage this year. Who are some guys that during spring practice have kind of stepped up in that wide receiver room that maybe you're excited about heading into the fall? Yeah. Um, you know, what Talik Keaton's back. You know, he, he got injured, you know, towards the, the middle of the year there. So he's back. He's another veteran presence that, that has done some really good things. Brian Robinson battled some injuries last year that kind of hampered him a little bit. He's back healthy, you know, kind of looking like the, the Brian Robinson that we anticipated. Um, Caleb McMillan is, is, is back again. He got injured, uh, probably about midway through the year. So he kind of battled back. Um, and then, you know, some guys that we recruited, you know, I know in this transfer portal world, you know, we forget that we still recruit high school guys, you know, but the Caleb Coombs and, and that world of guys, you know, are starting to make some progress. And again, I think it's going to be a combination uh, of guys, you know, and, and ultimately, you know, we'll settle into some, you know, true positions and true, you know, you're the X, you're the Z, you're the Y. Uh, right now, we're trying to, you know, basically have them drink water of a fire hose and, you know, hey, play every position, play this position, because obviously at this level, you know, you want your best players on the field and that week one may be different than week six, you know, so a guy that's playing inside slot receiver may have to move outside or vice versa. So I feel really good about the room as a whole. Um, I, I, I talked to one um, reporting group after practice and, and we, we're catching more balls than we did last year. I know that sounds very uh simplistic for the wide receiver group but um there's not as many balls on the ground and i think that's a, a competitive you know kind of balance and i think it's you know guys improving all right thanks coach Chef. we appreciate the time today thanks